Been out here stacking, loading, getting everything ready to go. Get headed for the auction in the morning. And uh, can't wait to get there with this load of fur. The way I've got it ratchet strapped down on a pallet on wheels. A stack of beaver may not look that impressive because I got it under pressure, but there's 60 beaver in that pile. Not to, not to mention all the pelts on top. And this big box that I've got in this white bag full of the dried beaver casters. But uh, <laughs> when I take that ratchet strap off, it's gonna puff up. <laughs> It's like squeezing a bag of polyfill and then you open the bag, it's gonna fluff right back up. But uh, we're leaving out in the morning going for the Mississippi State Fur Auction. Should be a good day. We'll do some filming up there if they let us. But last year they kind of gave me a, when I was playing their music at the auction, YouTube didn't like that. So we'll see how it goes. I'll try to film if they're not playing music. See you then. That's a heck of a pile of cats. Okay. It took well, us, huh? It, it took us two years to get them. What was you using for bait? A little bit of everything. Beaver meat. Beaver meat. Deer meat. meat bulk stuff. Beaver meat. Bobcat meat. This was Mississippi or northern cats? These are from Tennessee, West Tennessee. Nice. You got some big cats. I like how you're pleading, pleading your tails on your otters too. Well, that's new. That's my buddies. We, I, we always stretch them out. And somebody told him that that was the way to do it. Well, here we are at the Mississippi State Fur Trappers Auction. Just now setting up. Just now bringing our stuff in. Here's my skid of pelts, my beaver, nutra, otter, muskrat, casters, and they're bringing in a lot of stuff that's for taxidermy and whatnot, cats, otters, and uh, it's going to be a busy day. A lot of stuff's going to come in, but uh, it's going to walk around, get some footage before they start turning the music on. See you over here. I call her fur trader trappers. They got a lot of cool stuff for sale. Little possibles bags, like medicine bags for around the neck, rabbit furs, a few tan pelts. There's a river otter. 100 bucks for medium otter. Not bad. Yeah. Looking around at the traps. Raccoon bags. It's like coyote trim. Old throw pillows. Foxtails, snares, slurs, rebar stakes, body grip traps. Some of them are huge. But uh, just walking around, seeing what they got for sale. Morning, Fred. Morning. How are you? I'm good. Have you taught that stick how to walk good yet? Yeah, it walks better than I do. <laughs> it, it, it stays straight and don't <laughs> bend over. Ooh. Yeah. Remember my other code. I like these trap baskets. They are mighty handy. An old wicker type. I've had a few of them. Yeah. I've got one at home that I, I wore out terrible bad. They took me a while. You gotta learn when you're when you're walking in the woods. You gotta keep them around with your back. Boy, you can smell that lure coming out of this. It's awesome. Oh yeah. What do you got? This a skunky. What, what you got that's got the, this kind of smells like hellfire. It's got that real strong I got skunk smell. It must be what it was. Yeah, Dunlap. Yes, sir. I like that stuff. Real but you skunky. can just smell it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we had that I'm stuff. I'm just walking around <laughs> looking at what all you got. We had that stuff yesterday and I, I 
bag and it was inside of a bag in a box. Boy, is that grain on the Sheffield or what is that? Do what now? Is that a Sheffield? What is this? Um, let's see. No name? No name on it. He can tell you exactly what it is though. Just walking around. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna turn this off. Just keep walking around. I might find something to buy. <laughs> well, I just got checked in. Here's our stack of lot tickets. Lot paperwork. We got quite a bit. <laughs> we'll see how the the first sale, but I think I got six, seven, eight, eight or nine lots in that pile. We'll see how it goes this afternoon. And uh, when the game wardens show up, I'll get the otter tagged and get it back out to the car. It's a Rottweiler. Get the otter tag, get it back to the car, but uh, check-in check is beginning. These people coming in from everywhere. It's supposed to have a lot of new buyers. I'll get some footage of all the fur once they get it laid out in lots in the floor, but uh, it's gonna be a great sale, I think. See you after a while. Well, they're starting to put out the lots. Green, green. Here's where my lots start with some muskrats. Nutra beaver beaver and I had a bunch of dry caster down here. Did you say you got 70 ounces? No, I had 112 something, 112, 13 ounces. That's yours? All three bags, I believe. Let's see what it says. Is it lot 34? Well, it's gotta be the right side of the beaver. I'm just seeing what the tag was. 35. Well, that's not mine. Here's, this is wet. There's mine, the 112 ounces dried. That's wet caster. Or not completely dry. These look wet too. That looks good too. When I'll take them, I'll hang them on my. I got a caster drying rack. Yeah, I do too. And every day I flip them. And about the second day on, when I flip them over, I'll, I'll squeeze the water okay, out. Okay, okay. The water will make them taint. But I'm not wasting that that works that i'll put it off in a jar because it it's got that strong caster yeah. smell and you'll stir it in with whatever beaver caster lure you're using or whatever you yeah. got left have you ever just cut it in vaseline and just tried to stiffen it up well if i if i dry it i'll grind it with uh glycerin yeah to give it a little preservative put in a little sodium benzoate so you don't have a gassing in the jar Maybe a little salt for antifreeze, but we ain't got that much problem. Sodium benzoate, glycerin, beaver casters, and usually if I'm going to make a lure, I'll cut the shells, take a spoon, remove the, the caster mustard out of it, throw it in the grinder, and if you're going to use the shells that's left, throw them in a the grinder for your cat lures and rub lures. But just the straight out casters out of them glands, mixed with glycerin and sodium benzoate is killer. But uh, if you, whatever you're catching, like say if you're catching beaver from this colony, take this caster, move it down to where another colony yeah. is, because you can't use the same caster in the same colony because they're familiar with that beaver. Actually, don't, I'll, I'll actually. I'll you don't mind? I'm getting one. some of this. I'm just not filming your I'm face. I'm gonna chase like like if I if I tow one or I have one that's a real pain in the ass, I'll go after it with a family member caster. Really? Yeah. I've been using the different casters from different colonies yeah. to get that territorial response. Right, right, sure. That's what I'm, I'm sure that's But uh, here's my correct. stack. Here's our stack. Let's see Judith and Dan Davis on our YouTube channel. There's my blanket beaver and the smalls over here in the stack by themselves. But from the muskrats down to here is my, my lots. We'll see how it does. But uh, what do you expect Nutria to do? If I find a buyer, a dollar or less. I just, they were a nuisance, so here they are. Yeah. 
Um, they said two to three dollars the fur fishing game, but that's the final buyer. Yeah. I'm going to just film some of the. What do you think Beaver's going to do? Beaver. Honestly, if it goes eight or better on finished, I'd be happy. I mean, eight. I'm not going to say no. I'm not going to sell. Yeah. But if it's eight or higher, because our Hatter Beaver got a lot of bites. Got a lot of what? Bites. Okay. I'm just, the people are just now starting to bring in their lots and lay out the furs. Should be a good day. Here's Mr. Bill Duke at the fur auction. And standing next to our pile of beavers. Hey, what'd you say about that pile of furs? I, I said these are some of the finest, finest handled beavers in the whole place. Thank you. Yeah. We've we'll got some hours involved in that. Well, you can tell it. You can tell that you spent a lot of time and made it just the way it should be done. Thank you for that. You're quite I hear me and Judith at the auction. <laughs> yeah. We got our uh, lot tickets, and you just see they, they piling in for, it's not as big as some of the northern trap purchase, you know, trap auctions, but we got the guy from North American Trapper TV here. Bill Duke here. I saw a bunch of different fur buyers that have been here the last couple of years. Had the game wardens over there. They tagged my otter, or tagged an otter for me and gonna get it tanned. But the, uh, my big pile of beaver over there, <laughs> kinda looks like sod. It's the best pile, like I say, Bill Duke said it's the best handled fur he's seen in here. And that's a compliment coming from him. Five minutes till the auction starts. But the auction will commence shortly. Get back to you after everything sells. They may turn on some music. It's been, a, it's been a trip. Yep. We sold it. everything we came with. Yep, sure did. Met Bill Duke, Alan Probst, and new people. Bunch of new fur buyers, and like I say, the cats did not our cats, but I was watching the cat market just explode. And otter <laughs> markets explode. Beaver market was out insane. It was it was a heck of a season. Uh. <laughs> Put it this way, the beaver market was about twice what it was last season. I'm gonna pull this out. Whatever you want to do. But uh I sold all the beaver and all the caster and uh, may do a run may do a rundown on the averages when I get home, but we are leaving for the day. Headed back to Plo.